What do you call that thing? Huh? I don't know, some new boat they're trying out. Water. How are you? All good. How'd you sleep? Very well, mate. No dramas at all. Who's your crew? I got no idea. Teenagers, mate, probably still asleep. Still arguing with mum about whether they should be coming in or not. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, girl. What's up? Oh, teenagers for a sale. True. Gone on. Nice man. Camp for the big wins. So the Wesley's just come in hard and fast, so everyone's getting their kit on. What are we wearing? Uh wetsuit pants and thermal rashy. What are you putting on? Same as always. Everything. Same as always. Same stuff. What's happening here? Shooky la la woofy baggy <laughs> finger tape. Hey! Giddy up! We're going yachting. Okay. Whale so excited. Top marks like just there. It's not many of the uh, F-18s and Hobie 18s are rigging up at the moment. I think they're all cruising. Linda's there, she's cruising. But uh, yeah, looks like the 16s and the turbos are going out. Kick it and rip it. Slam. Oh well, should be right. Should be a bit yeah. wet. A bit wet here, bro. What happened? Beware the bullets. You're looking pretty wet too. <laughs> I went for a little bit of a swim. How about you? Oh, a bit of a swim, yeah. Clean up that my just... knees as well. <laughs> we didn't say that you just went from sideways to flick over. Straight OG turtle. Yeah, yeah, full on. How'd the day go, Paddy? Oh, look, Charlotte, it was a pearl, mate. I would have liked at least one race to get one point ahead of you and Gav, but sometimes things just don't work out. Unlucky, we're just better. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Ellie, how was it? Bit windy. A bit, I reckon. Fun. How was it, Brody? Oh, not with you now. Not with you, shut up. <laughs> James, how was it? You chip? Nearly. Nah. Oh. You right? Dog prepping. It's done. I'm thinking about paintball. Oh, go for a surf. Anything, anything fun. What do you reckon? Mm. Paintball. Right, guys, exciting day in the rescue boat. Nearly got taken out by uh, a wayward boat, lost control. Flipped the flipped a hole right over the top of the rescue boat, and uh, luckily we all survived. Pearl, mate. Got two. Super mum. Yeah. Fantastic mum. How was the weekend? Oh, look, I tell ya. The wind, the timing, the weather, spectacular. A bit wild out there today. Saw a bit of action today, only some quick action, but it was fun to watch nonetheless. And how Blinking did the young off. girls go on the turbo? They rip it up or The what? turbo, they were hot stuff, ripping around on the turbo. Today they had to swap ships, a bit of swapping and changing to get them safely back to shore. But And they ripped in coming fun. right into shore, fastest and stuff ever Having heaps of fun. And having heaps of fun. Fab. How was sailing today? Not good. Not good, Not you heard good. it here. I will do the volunteers first because I think that's um, the most important thing is running an event like this. So obviously, um, thank you to Ainsley <laughs> for still taking the boat back to the um, to the mooring for supplying his boat. And we've got a host of volunteers from the club, um, John, Richard, etc., who were out on the start boat. But in particular, I want to recognise um, 
Glenn, Bill, Lisa, Michelle, and, and David Styles. And Jonah. Jonah. And Jonah. Yes. Well, I hope you can see open in third place, Andrew and Will. <laughs> in second place, the hope you can see open, we had Anthony and Evelyn. <laughs> Can I just say this is um, extra sweet oh, because um, we've been missing for the life of Nick and Andrew and that, but particularly this time last year, we didn't think we'd ever be sounding our Hobie again, so this is pretty sweet. So. And then for the first place in the Hobie 16 Opens, we had MB and Worst. <laughs> I'd just like to say that all that stuff that was said about Ainsley at the briefing is all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Now for the most uh, hotly contested fleet out on the water this weekend, the Hobie 14 Turbos. In third place, Ubu Killer. In second place, getting Ubu by a single point, was Andrew Nelson. Cleaning it up this weekend was Craig Hutton. Yeah. Oh. Different thing, these Turbos. A bit different to a standard 14, uh, but I really enjoyed it. Thanks very much, Andrew. And thanks very much, Ubu. That's great. It's really good. So I just like to thank before we go to our last two awards, I like to thank myself personally, but everyone else very <laughs> well, not myself personally, but I like to personally thank um, so something we're trying to do um, in the Hobie class we've been doing for the past couple of regattas is not only awarding the guys who have started well, but those that um, give the time, sense it out there and have fun. This is our Hobie Cat family's bottoms up award. So as someone who may have put in the piss once or twice, but persevered and stayed out there the whole time. So these are the youngest people who actually sailed in this regatta and they sailed in their first regatta ever this weekend. Zoe Ellis and... To complement that award, we've got the Hobie Family Sportsmanship Award. Um, so this goes to someone or a team who really went out of their way to help someone out on the water or off the water, taking time out of their own race or out of their schedule to um, help out and take care of their mates. So to compliment Zoe and Jill, James and Brody. Yeah. We only got one day sailing, but it was great fun. Awesome racing yesterday. Yeah. Worth a trip? Definitely. Definitely recommend it to everybody. Close enough. What are you taking home? Whatever that thing is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's turn out this driver without hitting any poles this time, preferably. I think we're clear. Alright then, well that's states over and done with. Hobie 16, Hobie 14 Turbo, Tiger and Wildcat. Hey. How would we summarise it? Blowy <laughs> as shit. Blowy as shit is a good bloody description because that was cowboy racing. You got champagne sailing, cowboy racing survival. It started out as champagne sailing the first day on Saturday and then it just absolutely turned into cowboy racing in its finest form in those last few races and that last race on saturday that was proper survival mb and worst he got the bullet not not to anyone's surprise they were just sailing so well and they always sail so well in the blow anthony and evelyn come back from having not sailed in a very very long time came in and absolutely killed it couldn't keep up with them they were sailing so high and so fast it wasn't funny so that was epic. Will and Andrew sailing on the boat together, which is sick. Andrew's hopefully trained Will up, so he's gonna be a good crew for uh, Paddy Boy and the Nationals, fingers crossed. Get to see who's gonna uh, take the helm and who's gonna be the tactician. Lockie and Sharon came down for the weekend, which was epic. It was amazing to have them down and sailing out with us all. Gav sailed with Charlotte. How'd they go? Not bad, pretty good. Charlotte did pretty well. What else have we gotta say? What do you gotta say? Hell no. Oh my, you and Brody killed it in your first regatta sailing together on 16. You know you're there, it's just what is, what, what do you have to work on? What are we gonna work on? I don't know, just, just confidence. Confidence, working on confidence. And that, you boys being out there this weekend was definitely a confidence booster because you actually went out, and you guys went out today in that Sunday. 
and you didn't tip over. We tipped over, Dad tipped over, Andrew tipped over, you guys didn't tip over, which was bloody unreal. But like that was that was that was ridiculous, that was really just saying. Sucks we didn't go racing. It would have been nice to have a look at. Uh, we were gonna race but oh. we said if God heads in we're heading in. Well, then everyone was heading in when they pulled up the flag. Yeah, yeah. They just realised it. it. sucked that you guys snapped a tiller. Oh, stupid. That sucks. That's all that that, that so sucks. Nice. But just leading into something pretty special, you know, in less than a month's time. Fiftieth Aussie. Maybe nationals. Ooh, proper naughty. 110 plus boats. Anthony Neblin haven't entered yet. They will. Rod and Kerry are doing it. We saw Rod and Kerry this weekend, which is have seen. Jace came down for a bit of a yarn. Hopefully we'll get Jace at nationals, but we'll wait and see. He's doing Sydney at Hobart, so always a spare 14 for anyone who is keen to have a crack at it. There's always a 14 lying around in someone's backyards. Talk to us and let us know, and we'll make it happen. Rather than that, we might as well wrap it up and get on the road. For everyone else, this has been the New South Wales Hobie State Championships at Palm Beach Sailing Club in line with the infamous Bullets Regatta and my god, the Bullets were there this weekend. The Bullets were there, they came and they absolutely blew across pit water. Should acknowledge all the F18s, F16s and all the crew that were there as well at the Bullets Regatta, they were loving it. Sailing fast, sailing high. So it's all good. We hope to see you guys at some regattas in the future where we all get to just go out there and have some fun together. But until then, I've been Paddy. I've been James. And this is Totally Immersed TV.